a slow burning terminal teen drama thinly disguised as a zombie thriller, Maggie is a relentlessly dreary downer. The cheapest thing that miscast star Arnold Schwarzenegger has appeared in since 1970's Hercules in New York, it's less a chance for the impending septuagenarian to prove his acting range than a deceptively shallow and manipulative tearjerker starring some old guy who hasn't made a classic movie in almost a quarter of a century. Unfolding on the cusp of a zombie apocalypse, Maggie sees Arnold playing a simple farmer sort, desperate to protect his infected daughter, Abigail Breslin, from the authorities who rightly want to destroy her. I can't imagine the anguish of a parent expected to hand over his kid for quarantine, but what's the alternative? Allow her to turn full on zombie? Let every last living brain be consumed by the dead? It's folks like that who end the world, you know! Thinly characterised and sparsely plotted, like the undead, Maggie shuffles slowly towards a cop-out conclusion. Though still large, Arnold brings little weight to his role. Breslin, aka the fault in our zombies, does what she can to pick up the acting slack. They're borderline watchable, and I suppose at times moderately affecting. As the movie plods on, you find yourself wondering, why am I still watching? How am I not asleep yet? Are there worse things than a zombie apocalypse? Is that thing Maggie? Join me next week when I'll be reviewing the work of a real monster, Tom Cruise's Mission Impossible Rogue Nation. Please, before you leave, take a moment to subscribe. Stay safe, everyone.